Hello, I'm Karen Price, President of the Needham League of Women Voters and a 10-year town meeting member. The League of Women Voters is pleased to present this Needham Channel production. The goal of this program is to educate viewers on the unique place town meeting has in our town government, the role of town meeting members, how to become a town meeting member, and what is involved once you become one. We hope to encourage more people to consider running for town meeting, as an effective town government requires a constant flow of new people. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by In this presentation, we hear from local officials and town meeting members and present the steps involved in running for town meeting. Each May, 240 Needham citizens converge on the Newman School for the annual Needham Town Meeting. Call to order the annual town meeting for the town of Needham. Town meeting is really a collection of our citizens and represents the ultimate authority in our town. It is a, a body of elected citizens who act as the final approving authority as well as um, a check, if you will, uh, on the activities of our town officials and our agencies who work throughout the year for the betterment of our town. Our town meeting meets once a year and authorizes all major expenditures and all major actions that are requested by our town officials, agencies, and citizens. Town meeting is responsible for um, amending bylaws and appropriating funds, as well as many other activities. Town meeting is the legislative branch of government in uh, towns with town meeting form of government, and the executive branch is made up of the school committee, the board of selectmen, the assessors, park and recreation, health, planning, those kinds of boards. They're policy setting. Um, then there's me, the town manager, who is technically the chief executive officer of the town. I implement the policies along with all the staff in town set by those boards and uh, recommend items to town meeting for its action. It's really all about community and grassroots and committees and that we are a volunteer organization that keeps this town running and successfully running. Town meeting has many responsibilities, but a few perhaps uh, rise above others. Perhaps its most important function is that town meeting, this body of citizens, really is the ultimate authority on the expenditure of tax funds that are collected from our citizens in Needham. So each year, a budget to operate the town uh, in every respect is placed before town meeting, and it is town meeting that decides whether to spend the money that has been requested by our town officials and agencies. Any town meeting member uh, can, with a majority vote of town meeting, change those expenditures uh, either to make them higher or to make them lower in one particular area. Another important role of town meeting is that town meeting must approve any indebtedness uh, that is sought by the town. So if the town is going to borrow money in order to complete a project or fund operations and thereby bind future generations to the payback of those monies, town meeting has to approve that and they have to approve it by two-thirds vote. Town meeting is the legislature for our town. So when our town needs a new bylaw, uh, a general bylaw that will apply across the town, it's town meeting that like the legislature at Beacon Hill or Congress in Washington, will have to approve that law. Similarly, town meeting approves the laws that govern land use in our town, uh, our zoning laws. I think town meeting is the purest form of representative democracy that we have, and I'm privileged to be a part of it. Not every town in the United States, or even in Massachusetts, has the same form of government. Needham has what is called a representative town meeting. Town manager Kate Fitzpatrick explains how the Needham system fits in with the rest of the United States. There are essentially four kinds of um, governance for local government. The first is council manager government, and in council manager government there is a council which is the legislative body, and then the city town or town manager, typically a city manager, who is the chief executive. So they might meet uh, twice a month and that is it. They, the legislative body does the appropriations and they do the zoning. Um, and the city manager implements those policies on a day-to-day -day basis. It's an interesting form of government. It's very efficient. Um, it's also very quick, um, so that in New England, with our Puritan heritage, New Englanders like to think about things for a lot longer, and you, you don't get any rush judgments. That's council manager government. 48% of the jurisdictions in the country are council manager. The next highest at 44% is a mayor council. 
So then you would have either a strong mayor, like we have in the city of Boston, where you have a popularly elected mayor um, who, who is the chief executive, and then you have the council who's the legislative. Then you have other cities, for instance, the city of Worcester, where the mayor is um, one of the council members, and there's also a city manager. So that, there's a variety of, of those, but you can see how many that is. That's 48 and 44 percent of the jurisdictions. There are some jurisdictions that are run by commission, um, not popular in this part of the country. And then 5% um, of jurisdictions in the country are open town meeting, which means anybody who's registered to vote in the town can come and vote. 1% of the uh, jurisdictions in the entire country are representative town meeting, which is what we have in Needham. So in Massachusetts, we have 351 cities and towns. 51 of those are cities. And of the 300 towns that are left, 262 of them are open. So that leaves 38 representative town meeting form of government in Massachusetts, which is only 11 percent. So we are in the minority, both in Massachusetts and in the nation. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful form of government, representative town meeting, and it typically came into place when communities got over a certain size, because over a certain size, if you have open town meeting, it's very hard to hold all of the uh, registered voters who might want to come to an event. The other difference is it's easier to communicate with representative town meeting members because you know who they are. And you can do things like mail them information and invite them to meetings. Um, what some communities who have open town meeting find is that there might be a single issue on the warrant where 800 people will come, and then after that article, they're all gone, and the same, you know, 100 and 200 people who always come will be left. So we we aren't we aren't subject to that wide variety of people coming and going in representative town meeting, and it really allows our town meeting members um, the ability to be notified and get more information so that they're prepared to vote. The business of town meeting is listed in the warrant, a document that contains a series of individual articles that town meeting members will vote on. Town meeting members receive the warrant in advance in order to prepare. The warrant is a document that provides notice to town meeting members, but more importantly, to the citizens of Needham as a whole. The warrant is a list of the action items that will be before town meeting. So all of the citizens in Needham can access our warrant now via the web well in advance of our town meeting in May, and they can see the matters that will be taken up by town meeting. The matters that are set forth in the warrant are called articles, and those articles are devoted to a particular item. So, for example, there is an article which relates to the next fiscal year's operating budget. There is an article that may relate to the purchase of one piece of capital equipment. There is an article that may relate to the approval of a collective bargaining agreement for a bargaining unit in town. These matters are all arrayed in numerical order, and we use the warrant as our agenda. The articles that appear in our warrant get there in a couple of different ways. One way is for the Board of Selectmen, who act as our warrant committee, to place them there. The Warrant Committee decides these are the matters that we think are important enough to bring before town meeting. These are the matters upon which we wish town meeting to act. Another way, which is really one of the uh, wonderful things about our town meeting form of government, is that citizens can place matters before town meeting. They do this by, under what's called a citizen's petition. For an annual town meeting, a citizen need only gather the signatures of 10 registered voters to support the placement of a citizen's petition article on the warrant. For a special town meeting, because that meeting is typically designed to focus on only a few things, the burden for placing a citizen's petition on the warrant is higher. For a special town meeting, a citizen would have to gather 100 signatures to support the placement of an article on the special town meeting warrant. The warrant is really the most important piece because it lists the items that will be discussed at the town meeting. And in Needham, really, which is actually slightly different from other communities, we list the motion, um, the article in the warrant is very similar to what's actually going to be acted on. So town meeting members can really get a sense of what's going to be acted on at town meeting from that warrant. And the warrant is distributed at least 14 days before a special town meeting and seven days before the annual town meeting, presumably because people know when the annual town meeting is coming and they don't need that notice. To be a successful town meeting member, you really need to read the article, read all the articles in the warrant, um, be familiar with uh, all of the, the content so that you can ask insightful questions um, and probing questions because um, sometimes the, the people, who, the proponents of the articles 
um, don't know all the answers and they, they haven't figured everything out and sometimes they, they want the input of the town meeting members um, for how to make it better. In addition to the warrant, the town's website includes background information, including the operating and capital budgets. Information on specific warrant articles is also available on the town's website, www.needhamma.gov. And town meeting members, or anyone, can sign up to get notified whenever something new is posted. The uh, capital budget, which is the uh, budget for infrastructure and equipment for the next five years, is available and it's actually available online the first week of January, so town meeting members can review that. And also, the town's operating budget, which the preliminary balanced budget, which I produce, comes out at the end of January, and that is available online immediately after that. Then the Finance Committee's deliberations um, and the information from the, the Finance Committee, whenever that's generated, we'll post it on the website. So the two budget documents are very important. Um, the schools produce a performance report that has loaded with statistics that might be helpful, and generally the bylaws and any other publications that might be relevant are available on the website. The dates for when our town meeting convenes are, are governed first by our town charter. Our town charter requires that there be an annual town meeting and in Needham we've chosen the first Monday in May as the begin date for our annual town meeting. Our annual town meeting continues on alternating Monday and Wednesday um, uh, until we're, we're through the warrant. May is chosen as the date for town meeting because it is at towards the end of the fiscal year uh, for the town of Needham as well as the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So it's an appropriate time to deal with the next year's uh, events uh, and especially the next year's expenditures. Periodically a special town meeting will be called and those can occur at any time throughout the year besides May. So uh, for example the Board of Selectmen have the power under our town charter to call a special town meeting to deal with special matters uh, that can't wait for the annual town meeting in May. Discussion. Yes, sir, in the back. The town meeting moderator, currently Michael Fee, presides over town meeting. My job as moderator um, is to uh, preside over town meeting, to enforce the laws that apply to town meeting, uh, and act as a, uh, a referee um, or almost like a judge in a courtroom to make sure that our deliberations and our actions stay within our rules and we can proceed with the business of town meeting in an effective, fair, and civil way. The ayes have it. Two-thirds vote declared on a voice vote by the moderator, and I declare Article 5 disposed of. Now we know what town meeting is, but what does it mean to be a town meeting member, and how do you become one? Town meeting members are elected by precinct in each of the 10 Needham precincts. The term of office is three years, and there are about 24 town meeting members per precinct, for a total of 240 town meeting members plus 14 members at large who represent town boards. Citizens become town meeting members for a variety of reasons. Being a town meeting member connects me to the past and present and future of the town of Needham. Um, I'm very proud to be part of a governing board that's been in existence for 300 years. And as for the present, I'm able to participate with the uh, decisions when it comes to our tax dollars and be aware of the issues and the activities in the town. And as for the future, my participation will impact upon Needham for generations to come. So I'm glad I'm a town meeting member. Anyone can be a part of it. I actually ran on a writing campaign and that was about five years ago and I hope to be here for many years to come. I got involved because of the PTC at my daughter's school and we had discussions about the town government and how it worked and some people approached me and said, hey, do you want to run for town meeting? It's something I'd never thought of. I gave it some consideration, decided yes. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. I joined town meeting um, many years ago. I don't even know how many years ago. Um, I was very involved with my kids' school and I wanted to be part of a broader group of the community. 
Town meeting members are elected every April in the annual town election. The term of office is three years, so each year about one-third of the seats are on the ballot. To run for town meeting, the first stop is town hall and the town clerk's office to take out nomination papers. Nomination papers are available from early January to late February when they must be returned. The dates vary a bit each year. Candidate Frank Bond visits town hall. He runs into Laura London, a current town meeting member. Hi, Laura. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm great. I'm actually here to pick up my papers to run for town meeting. Oh, how exciting. I'm a time, town meeting member. Oh, really? Yeah. So, how much time commitment is town meeting? Um, you know, it's not really too intensive. I would say it's about, um, on average, four nights in the spring. And then there's an additional special town meeting that happens in the fall, and that's one night. And then, of course, is there, there's the preparation to attend town meetings, but it's manageable. Mm -hmm. And what do you get out of being in town meeting? You know, I really enjoy being a town meeting member. Um, I grew up here in Needham, and I really have a strong sense of pride for the town, and, and I care deeply about its residents. And um, for me, being a town meeting member is a way to give back to the community that means so much to me. Um, you know, I think it's a great way to perform a civic duty, and I really find the process fascinating. How much preparation do you do for town meeting? Preparation for the town meetings is very, very important. Um, a warrant is mailed, usually a couple of weeks before the town meeting happens, and the expectation is that all town meeting members will read the warrant thoroughly and really work to try to understand all the issues that are included in it, because of course, at town meeting, uh, all of the articles within the warrant will be discussed, debated, and ultimately voted upon. So. Um, as part of research, after reading the warrant, you could just pick up the phone, call various town offices, ask for clarification on things. Uh, the League of Women Voters here in Needham hosts a wonderful informational meeting. That's typically the Monday before town meeting starts. And that's a great way to have your questions answered in a sort of informal setting. Um, in addition to that, you know, reading the newspaper, talking to people, just keeping your ears and eyes open to what's important to people in town is really helpful. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I'm a little nervous about is actually campaigning for town meeting. What's involved doing that? Well, you know, it really all depends. If it's an uncontested race, then you really don't need to do anything. As long as you show up and you vote for yourself, then you're, then you're free, good to go. But um, if, there, if it is a contested race, then you could just make some phone calls, you know, talk to people you know, let them know that you're running, tell them to, you know, get out there and vote, and um, hopefully you'll have good luck. Hi, I'm Frank Bond. I would like to run for town meeting. Okay, um, may I have your address? It's 159 Warren Street. Okay, let me just check your voter status and what precinct you'll be in, and I'll be right back. Okay, um, that's precinct G. Okay. And um, there are eight positions available in precinct G. So um, I can get you your town meeting member paper. Okay. And we we'll give you a little handout, which briefly explains the number of signatures required. You need 10 signatures in your precinct. Mm -hmm. We suggest you get probably 12 to 15, because some voters are not, some people are not registered voters. Um, so you have that. I put your name down here. On the ballot, incumbents are listed first in alphabetical order. New candidates are listed second in alphabetical order. Okay, um, I need to have you sign that you accept the nomination papers. Okay. We also give um, candidates, and it's a huge precinct map, and I only do this because I've had people return their nomination paper and they've gone outside their precinct. This is precinct G. Yeah. So if you go on any of the bordering lines of the precinct, you need to stay inside. If you go across the street, they're in the other precinct, and then it won't count. Well, that is also for you. Okay. What and happens if there aren't enough um, people on the ballot to fill all eight positions? We usually have write-in candidates, and our town charter call requires that the next write-in in line would fill that vacancy. If there aren't any write-ins, then uh, the town clerk is required to call the town meeting members from that precinct in, and we have an election here in the town clerk's office okay. to, to fill the vacancy okay. for a one-year term. Okay. 
Okay. Do you have Very any good. other questions? I don't believe I do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Hi, Sandy. Hi, how you doing, Frank? Good. I am running for town meeting, and I need to collect 10 signatures from registered voters in our precinct, okay. and I was wondering if you'd be willing to sign for me. Absolutely. And you're registered to vote? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Uh, any of this and then you're, Yeah, we need your address. That's it. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Hi, Bill. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I am running for town meeting, and I need to collect 10 signatures from registered voters in our precinct, and I was wondering if you'd be willing to sign for me. Absolutely. Here you go. Thank you very okay. much. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Hi. I'm here to return my papers. Thank you. Let okay. me just date stamp okay. those to make sure they're in. Okay. And I, I do have a couple of additional questions. Okay. How long is the term of office? It's for three years. Okay. Okay. And when is the election? The election is the second Tuesday in April each okay. year under our town charter. Oh, great. Okay. So we will certify these within the next couple of days. Um, I've never had anyone that hasn't gotten all their signatures, so I would say you're probably all set. Do I receive something from you to verify that I'm certified? No, we don't send anything else, but we will, um, if there was a problem, we would notify you. Okay. And our, our candidates are pretty reliable at getting the correct signatures. Okay, great. Okay, Thank good you. luck. Thank you very much. All righty. Once elected, town meeting members take on the responsibility of representing their constituents on the matters that come before town meeting. You have heard about the warrant and the website. Town meeting members are also encouraged to attend public hearings throughout the year on topics that may lead to a town meeting article. The Monday before the start of the annual town meeting, the League of Women Voters holds warrant meetings. At this event, town meeting members sit with their fellow precinct members and town officials to discuss the warrant articles in a less formal setting. Also on this night, moderator Michael Fee holds a session for new members. We're blessed in Needham to have um, some terrific outlets where people can gather information about uh, issues that are before our town. The Needham Channel is an excellent public service uh, that televises meetings, whether they be before the Board of Selectmen, uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals, School Committee, or other special boards that appear. I encourage town meeting members to access the Needham Channel uh, and, and watch some of these meetings and get a sense of what's going on. Um, our meetings are also posted on our town website, and it's, I think, in, important for town meeting members to attend some meetings to see some of the characters in town, to understand some of the issues, uh, and to really get a feel for what's before us. We also have resources available in the town clerk's office and through the town website um, where citizens can um, access uh, important information, whether they be committee study reports or other materials that will help uh, augment the information that they may have gathered from other sources. And the last area that I would recommend people uh, people access is their neighbors. I think they should talk to their neighbors. They are their constituents and find out what's in their minds. How do they feel about the issues that are before the town? Uh, in, initiate conversations with folks so that everyone understands the importance of some of the matters that are will be coming up at town meeting and uh, how that town meeting member may handle them. The wonderful thing about town meeting is that its membership is open to any registered voter in the town. There are no qualifications. There's no uh, limitation on um, who may serve as a town meeting member. And that's really one of its strengths. We have people from all walks of life. We have people of all ages, from uh, teenagers who have just achieved uh, uh, the age of 18 and the right to vote, uh, to senior citizens who have lived in the town uh, their whole life. Um, it is uh, a collection of citizens which, when they act as a body, discuss and address the most important aspects of our town and you see in the speakers who rise and speak about matters before town meeting the expertise that they bring whether it's as a businessman, a scientist, um, a parent, 
uh, or, uh, uh, or even a town employee. Um, anyone can attend town meeting if they are either um, a registered voter uh, or a guest of the moderator. Um, but attendees at town meeting cannot participate in a vote, nor can they make motions uh, to alter the status of uh, matters that are on the floor before town meeting. Only town meeting members, elected town meeting members, may vote, and um, others may visit and even speak at our meeting. Uh, and sometimes uh, citizens do come and exercise their right to speak at our town meeting, even if they are not town meeting members, to make sure that their voice is heard. And we always welcome that. I actually became a town member uh, about 10 or 12 years ago. I was recruited by a couple of my neighbors who were in their late 60s, early 70s, had been long-term town meeting members. And we had been involved in a neighborhood issue together, and they had liked sort of how I had worked on it, and they felt it was important to keep people from our section of the precinct involved in the town meeting. Uh, what I've come to like about it is that you really get an expansive knowledge of what's going on in town in all the different areas, uh, financial, in some of the zoning and planning board issues, and also just in policy. It really keeps you very knowledgeable in a broad way about all the issues in town, and so you can have some sense of where things are going and how they're working. And I think that uh, the other thing I like is that it's a very collegial effort in spite of the differences that come up. People really make an effort to be nice to each other, to discuss the issues thoroughly, and give you a chance to make a decision. I think that um, being a town meeting member is um, a wonderful opportunity to be involved in the community without a huge investment in time. To be a town meeting member means that one has decided to step forward and be a representative of hundreds of citizens in their neighborhood. I first ran for town meeting because I just wanted to have a voice in how my tax dollars get spent. Um, and I certainly feel that town meeting gives me that opportunity. But the thing I didn't um, expect was how much I would learn about how our town budgets and spends and what our town's priorities are. Um, and most importantly, I, I am, have learned how much people care about the town and, and how hard so many volunteers work to think about our town, take care of our town, and educate me about, um, about how, how our town can best be run. Thank you for joining us. The League of Women Voters is committed to educating voters and improving our government because democracy is not a spectator sport. On behalf of the League, I would like to thank everyone who participated in this program. I also want to thank fellow League member Amy Goldman for production assistance and Mark Mandel and the Needham Channel for producing this program. I hope you will consider running for town meeting and I hope to see you there. You know, I really enjoy being a town meeting member. Get involved, be a part of our town, and do something for the town and for yourself. Give back because the town of Needham does so much for you. Be a part of that. The thing I like best about town meeting um, is the full and thoughtful discussion they get to hear about town issues. So I'm glad I'm a town meeting member. It's good to have representative town meeting members, so we hope, you know, if they see a vacancy listed on the website or if they see an opening, come on in and take out your papers.